In the meantime, the NYPD has stepped up patrols at synagogues across the city. Fox 5's Arthur Chien is at the Palestinian Mission on the Upper East, where there was a protest earlier today. Good evening, Arthur. Good evening, Terry, Steve. Throughout the Upper East Side, we've seen a stepped up police presence. Throughout today, we've been getting letters from political offices high and low condemning what's happened there as the city reacts to news coming out of Israel. Abbas, blood is on your hands. Abbas, blood is on your hands. Outrage over the barbaric murders quickly reached New York as dozens protested outside the Palestinian mission on the Upper East Side. Alternating between prayers held arm in arm and shouts directed at the mission, some hold the Palestinian Authority President Abbas responsible. And we stand in front of this building representing the Palestinian Authority, representing Mohammed Abbas, and I point a finger at Abbas and say, you are guilty. Despite the messages being left here, Abbas was amongst those condemning the murders today, saying in a statement, quote, We condemn the killing of civilians from any side. We condemn the killings of worshippers at the synagogue in Jerusalem and condemn acts of violence no matter what their source. Across this city, NYPD units have been deployed to guard Jewish houses of worship and other significant sites, including the Riverdale Center in the Bronx, where the father-in-law, the rabbi here, is amongst the four victims brutally killed. He and his wife reportedly on their way back to Israel Israel. Some here fear that a dispute over territory could develop into a full-blown religious war. May their memories serve as a source of inspiration, hopefully, to inspire all of us and all good-hearted human beings to rise in protest and to make sure that the voice of religion serves as a voice of peace and the voice of healing, and never again as a voice that leads one to maim and to murder in God's name. This hot stepped up police presence across the city today, not just in Manhattan, we saw it in other boroughs as well. The NYPD says they're monitoring the situation closely. They do not see any specific threat for New York, but the police commissioner himself today asking New Yorkers as part of vigilance if they see something interesting to contact police.